Hi guys. Um, so I'm not in the loft. I'm also not um, with Joe um, for reasons which are probably pretty obvious. It's been a little while since our last video and we've had a, a few requests um, from people who've asked us to keep going making videos. Um, and one request we've had um, specifically has been for a fragrance uh, collection video, which is something we can do without being together. So I thought I would kick it off and show you my uh, fragrance collection. And the next uh, video is gonna be from Joe showing his collection. And uh, we're also gonna look into seeing whether we can get together remotely to carry on making videos. But here you go, here's my fragrance collection. Hi guys, um, so this is my perfume cabinet in my bedroom. Um, I'll just open it up for you, give you a little bit of a look inside. There's a separate drawer here. Right, I'll give you a little bit of a kind of a talk through. So starting up here, I've got um, an original New York and the newer New York Intense from Patricia de Nicolai. I've got a few Carons over here, Poronong, Yetagan and Um I've got Three from Profumum Roma, Arso d'Ambrosia and Amber Aria. Amber Aria, I mean, one of my absolute favourite ambers, absolutely incredible. And bought two of those from the Profumum Roma shops in Rome. Then I've got a few um, L'Artisan Parfumer, especially Timbuktu. That's about my fourth or fifth bottle of this one. Absolutely adore it. I've got a few from Pierre Guillaume, Quidiris, Cosé, and... Um, L'Ombre Fauve, which is another amazing, amazing amber. Um, a couple of Creeds, a Millicent Imperial, which I've had quite a long time. I don't think I would be buying that one again. Green Irish Tweed, I still really, really enjoy wearing that one. A um, few Chanel's, Egoist, Coromandel, EDT and Antaeus. Um, I don't own any Dior, that's all the Chanel I own, but I don't own any Dior. Um, Boucheron, Jaipur, Om. Um, EDT, also got the EDP behind it as well. A couple of Aqua de Palma, the Colonia and the Essenza. A couple of Serge Lutin, um, Chagui and Ambrose Lutin. Okay, then this next row, which is quite an exciting one. This is starts off as my Guerlain row. So I've got uh, 19, I think it's a 1990 Chalamar X-Tray, a 1980 Mitsuku X-Tray, then I've got a, a modern Jiki, um, it's just a, an ex-tester. Eau de Gala in the back there. I've got this special edition Mouchoir de Monsieur, which I got from the Champs-Élysées boutique. And there's another normal uh, Mouchoir de Monsieur bottle there. Ponson Mythique, Jiki, Après Londé, Mitsuko, EDP. Um, I've got an EDT as well somewhere. Oh yeah, without a cap, that one over there. Chalamar, EDT and EDP. Abbey Rouge, EDT. L'Instant de Guélin, um, Heritage, Vetiver, I've got two bottles of that, the green top modern one and this old one at the bottom. Um, so that's my Guélin. Then, nice little segue actually, Civic Cat Sheepra by Meleg, uh, Matthew Meleg uh, perfumes, amazing, amazing, big on the civet, really bombastic theatrical uh, old style Sheepra. Knees 10, uh, Brooklyn by Galavant. Grey flannel back there. Um, slow Dive by Hiram Green. Amazing, amazing kind of real honey. Uh, Orange Sanguine by uh, Atelier des uh, Then I've got, this is this is the newest fragrance in my collection. It's Song of Everlasting Sorrow by Alfari. Um, my first fragrance in them. I was really, I wanted to, I've been, they had them on my radar for a while. And this is an amazing, um, okay, it starts with light, the kind of overripe light chain pear, but it's this kind of amazing, deep, thick, heavy incense. Uh, then I've got uh, four from January Scent Project, Ida Antler, Bavuvu, Vaporicello, and Smolder Rose. Uh, next row, which is another quite exciting one. Uh, so I've got a few uh, Tom Ford and Left, Noir de Noir, Tobacco Oud, and uh, London. London's probably one of my famous uh, favourite ones. Then I've got my little collection, my small collection at the moment of Atars. Something I'm just starting to get into. So Sultan Pasha ones at the front. I mean, they're absolutely really really incredible also Chypre there uh, Jiraiya which is really really amazing um, Millifluence and then and I've also got a, a few from Adol Kurma Franzi um, this one at the back in this really bling bottle is one which I got uh, in Tangier and it's 
they, they called it black musk and it's really 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 intense um i got tabu shafande which is from idea at the back and now i've got a few of my arige Lidore. so at the back there's a small inferno rosso then i've got siberian musk baikal gri antiquity malakal taif war and peace Russian Oud and Ottoman Empire. Oh, look how empty that is. It's sad times, isn't it? Um, you see all those ones at the back with the wooden caps, but you can't do the, you can't put the cap on properly because it gets stuck on the collar and rips it off. Um, then I've got a few Bortnikovs, Oud Monarch, Amber Cologne, Oud Maximus, and Sir Winston. Then I get into my little Prim Lomros uh, section. So Turkish leather, the first one I got um, from him. Rosaria. And then these are probably my three favourite from him. Mora, which is an amazing kind of modern style, cheap product. Loads and loads of kind of florals and incense and smoke and wood, just amazing. Mriga, which is probably the best non-synthetic musk I've ever smelled, really, really amazing. And then uh, Titular, which is his, um, it's kind of Taiyud based uh, fragrance. Um, and it's also got oh, there's an ingredient I can never remember the name of, Wan Sulong in it, um, amazing kind of green leafy, and then we've got a few of his strangest fragrances here, at the back I don't know if you can quite see these, I've got Moose Illumine, sorry they're a bit squashed here, and Siam from Rogue, amazing amazing fragrances, couple here from the World Incense, Mediterra and Gravitas, um, couple here from Francesca Bianchi. Sex and the Sea and Under My Skin. Under My Skin. Wow, that's an amazing, amazing fragrance. Right, next row. Here, here are the kind of the lower row. Here I've got quite a few. I went through, a while ago I went through quite a big amouage um, phase and I got, I got most of these amouage actually in the Harrods sale. They do these amazing sales when for about £110 you got a 100ml bottle and a bottle of the shower gel. Um, so fate, gold, uh, reflection, uh, that's not reflection, that's jubilation, then interlude, opus six, opus six, one of my favorite, I think, uh, memoir, reflection, reflection, probably one of my least favorite, and then another interlude, that's an older interlude, a uh, friction cap on, um, uh, Palata, one of my absolute favorite fragrances in my collection. If it's followed by Atelier des Or, amazing, amazing uh, fragrance. Doesn't get talked about much, but oh, the, the fourth bit, the kind of amber bit to it, is really incredible. Then a couple of Zergos, Naxos, and More Than Words. They're ones I've kind of I've kind of fallen out of uh, love with, but I don't. I find More Than Words quite uh, kind of o over the top, and yeah, I can't really wear it that much. Uh, so then this next row is a kind of largely. A lot of British uh, fragrances here. Couple from Haeckel's, Pegwell Bay, which I absolutely adore, summer staple. Rich Bro, which is also an amazing kind of um, minty one. Selmaran by James Healy. Then I've got this little collection here of 4,160 Tuesdays. It's great that they do lots of uh, different sizes. I've got 100 mil, 50 mil, 30 mil, and nine mil. Um, Ealing Green, Shazam. Uh, I can't remember what they're all are. Um, Max Tower, Over the Chocolate Shop. Burnt Cedar Rainbow Doves, and this one is Meet Me at the Corner. Then a couple by Beaufort. Um, actually, this one isn't mine. This is my wife's uh, Cœur de Noir, which is almost empty. Uh, then 1805. Couple from GOF Trumper, Sandalwood and Paisley. Couple from Lismore, from Papillon, Tobacco Rose and Bengal Rouge. Look how much I've used of this. It's not been out that long, but I just, I've worn it loads. Sartorial. Um, Santal by Floris. This is about my third or fourth bottle of this. This is one of the ones before I got really got into fragrances I wore a lot. Couple from Lush. Old Bottles. Breath of God. President's Hat. Now these two aren't um, British, but uh, Tom Ford Beau de Jour. And then my only uh, Killing, which is uh, Intoxicated. I still really, really love that. Next row, uh, my only Diptyque. Oud Palau. Um, Chambre Noir. I really adore this boozy, kind of dainty leather, amazing. Um, this this fragrance doesn't get talked about much at all. Cashy. Um, it's it's an amazing uh, kind of it's kind of a, a kind of take on patchouli, and it's also got amazing iris, amazing natural perfume. Uh, mortal skin. Look at that bottle. Amazing bottle. The only one I own from the house. Leda des Marocain. Of course, I imagine it's one that everyone's got in their collection. 
Then uh, T-Rex from Zoologist, my only Zoologist I own currently actually. I've had a, a few where I've kind of bought and sold. A um, uh, couple more Antonio Gardoni ones, so Dula, um, which I've actually been getting into. I found it quite challenging initially with the kind of big rose oxide note. Mem, one of my absolute favourite fragrances. Look how empty that is. That's really sad times. Um, Ombre Fetiche, amazing kind of leathery amber. And another really, really sexy one here. Marquis de Sade from Histoire de Parfum, 1740. Uh, amazing fragrance. But my only two from Frederick Mal, Portrait of a Lady and Geranium. Both really enjoy both of those. Um, then my two, only two I own from Maison Francis Curtis Jean. Oud Silk Mood and Baccarat Rouge. These are two I've had for a while, and let's see, I've actually, <laughs> I've actually quite literally made a dent in, in the Oud Silk Mood one. I'm not so much a fan of those anymore. Um, Chibre Mousse by Eritre Le Grand, one which I am, both Joe and I bought when we were recently um, in Paris. Amazing, amazing, mossy, green, dark. So there we go, that is... Uh, that's the main cupboard, and I do actually have a bit of a kind of an overflow down here, which I'll just need to unlock this one as well. So I actually kind of store, keep all my boxes in here as well. Sorry, it's a bit dark. I need to undo this. So I don't know if you can see, I kind of store all my boxes in there as well. I'm one of these people, some people store them in the boxes, some people store them out. But I store my fragrances out of the boxes, but keep the boxes as well. So I've got a um, couple of, from Aran there, Macri, and Locranza, Gorse, um, Atsara Palm, Reef Gauche, uh, Queer by, I oh, can't even remember that, the house, Carna Barcelona, that's it. Um, Citrop Bars, Le Ucram. I think these are both fragrances that people, you know, on their journey into it kind of get into. The ones that I haven't worn so much for a while. Boom de Doge, another one of my, um, so they're from Aude Italie. It's another Bertrand de Chauffeur. I love New York for all. This is, lots of people like New Harlem, whereas I far prefer this one. I find it much more kind of coffee, less sweet. My only Montal Oud Leather. I haven't worn that for a long time. Bentley for Men Intense, Ragwood Classic, another absolutely brilliant cheapie here. Eau de Mission, I mean, it still stands up really well. Um, can't really see these. Pure Oudi, Encre Noir, Ragwood Classic, Equipage, Geranium. Great, great favourites. Great designer um, a release. This is Alexandra J. Um, Rose Oud. Um, I bought this, but I haven't worn it for ages. I find it a little bit disgusting. Um, this is oh, come on, this is called uh, Calab. I forget the name of the house, but this is an amazing grapefruit oud. Heil uh, by Pharmacia SS Annunciata. Really kind of uh, salty, kind of myrtle seaside fragrance. Cape Heartache, adore this stuff. Uh, Le Jeux Sans Fait by Jovoy, amazing, classy, boozy fragrance. Another amazing uh, boozy fragrance, Fan Your Flames. Rien by Etelie Potange. This is one of my, my, my first kind of um, fragrances I encountered on my kind of real journey into niche, and I was really blown away by this. What an amazing house. Any, any fragrance, I ain't buy them, actually. Um, uh, Hinoki from the Comte de Garçon Monaco Collection. A couple from Rook. Um, oh, I lied. It's not my only uh, diptyque. This is also... Um, uh, Rue, um, I can't remember what it's called, 34 Boulevard uh, Saint-Germain. Um, it's supposed to smell like their shop on the Saint-Germain. Ama amazing fragrance. Uh, Cell de Vetter by, by a different company. Uh, Lumaniste um, by, uh, what's the name? Frappin. Amazing gin and tonic. And then uh, this is this is a house I stumbled across in uh, Rome. Essenza Elemente Laura. Um, um, this La Corte, it's just musk and incense. Uh, amazing fragrance. Um, I've also got a, a drawer, which I can't even open here, which is bulging with it, with um, samples. But anyway, so that's most of my collection. I've still got a few more bottles stashed all over the place. But here they are. Until next time when you get to see Joe's collection. <laughs>